Today's video is about how to build a anatomically correct butt crack. Actually, it's not anatomically correct. It's just a butt crack. But anyway, I'm also going to be building a little blue penguin habitat, but it's mostly going to be building statues today. So yes, today's video might finally get me demonetized because the first statue that I built has one boop on display. The second statue that I built just has both of them on display. is basically bare chested. I don't think it surprises anyone that the second statue is. I'm going to say it's Aphrodite, but it's actually Venus, even though I dislike Roman mythology because it's basically copy paste of Greek mythology. But yeah, I really hope that today's video might get me demonetized because I mean, I've talked about human sacrifices, murder, brothels, and like basically the entire backstory of Kean Abshar should get me demonetized. So far, it hasn't. So maybe putting boobs in the thumbnail and boobs in the video is going to get me demonetized, even though it's fake boobs because it's a statue. So it's, well, let's just move on, shall we? But yeah, I. Most of you might know that I am on a journey to get demonetized because I haven't gotten demonetized. And this video, like, if this video is not going to get me demonetized, then hopefully the next Aphrodite build will. Because in this video, we don't have full nudity. In the next Aphrodite video, we will have full nudity. Which was fun to research that. <laughs> but anyway, right now I'm not building a statue of Aphrodite. Right now I'm building a statue of Hebe, which... I'm probably not pronouncing correctly, but Hebe is the Greek goddess of youth. Even though the statue in a way looks more mature, I smacked my desk. I hope that's not noticeable in the voiceover. <laughs> but even though Hebe is the goddess of youth, she looks more mature than the statue of Aphrodite slash Venus that I'm going to be building later, which is mostly due to the hair or just the entire thing of building statues in Plan 2 out of basic shapes. You can't put any like structure or patterns or definition in your statues when it comes to like I can't have her hair look curly in this hairstyle. I And that's actually another thing in Plan 2 or right now. These statues are smaller. Like usually my statues are like 10 meters or 8 meters in height. This statue is smaller. It's only 4 meters but it's I think the smallest you can make the statues without it starting to look like a blob. But then the smaller you get in Plan 2, like the smaller when it comes to statues, but also builds, the smaller you make it, usually the less defined or more difficult to get it sort of defined and structured it is, especially when it comes to statues. You kind of like, you start to slowly just turn statues more into like a blob-like figure. So yeah, he be... Like, Hebe is the goddess of youth, Aphrodite is the goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality, so it kind of works that, you know, Hebe looks a little bit more mature, looks a little bit more uh, put together, I would say. Also, it doesn't really work. Although, thinking of it like, uh, youth, put together. I'm 23, I'm still like wondering, like, when will I have my life put together, so maybe it doesn't work. But anyway, so as I said, the trend in today's video is we get more bare chested with every statue. I'm only going to build two statues, but Hebe has one boob in exposed. Aphrodite, of course, has two. Actually surprising that she has a large piece of fabric to hide the nether region, basically to hide a vagina. Which is, again, it's kind of surprising because Aphrodite is usually portrayed in the nudes. But when it comes to Hebe, and actually also when it comes to, well, Aphrodite, but it's actually a statue of Venus, but I want to call it a statue of Aphrodite because, again, I dislike Roman mythology. But when it comes to these statues, they are both copies of real-life statues. I think if I say most famous statue of Venus, you will probably already have an idea of what statue I'm building. And when it comes to the statue of Hebe, I don't think it's actually historically accurate. At least for like the timeline of Khan Abishar, because I think this statue of Hebe was carved or sculpted in like the 17th or 18th century. I don't think it's like a classical Hellenistic or ancient Grecian statue or Roman, well, 
he be in Roman mythology is another name, but she's definitely there somewhere. <laughs> Deity is Venus, so there's probably like a Roman equivalent of Hebe as well, but I forgot her name. Juventus, maybe? I don't know. But both of these statues are copies, but the Hebe statue is probably like 17th or 18th century, and it's not actually like a classical Greek or Roman statue, so... I mean, it's pretty, and it just followed the trend that I wanted to have in this video of just like having more... <laughs> poops on display. <laughs> you can really tell that I want to get demonetized, but I'm also just having fun with it. And the research for this video and for the Aphrodite video, or the full nudity Aphrodite statue, was fun. Also made me feel a little bit like a pervert, but... Yeah, let's we move on to the Venus statue. Even though I'm still trying to finish the Hebe statue. Also, I did a small change with the Ebi statue because in the original statue, she's holding like a, what do you call it? Like a jug to carry wine with. In this version, I just gave her a dagger because, I mean, it's kind of, sure, it's beautiful, but deadly. But anyway, that's the only change that I made to the Ebi statue. I made a non-colorized version and then one that I did colorize. Just because I'm probably going to put the non-colorized version on the workshop, so... Yay, finally, Poison put something on the workshop. Even though he might probably forget it, because that's what I usually do. I forget to put things on the workshop. But anyway, going to the Venus, or I want to again call it the Aphrodite statue. I think if you remove the arms, you already know what statue I'm building right now. Also, it's surprisingly easy to build boobs and a face, but crack not so much because, well, boobs are literally an upturned face in the way that I build it. Like, it's basically the same shape. It's just rotated 180 degrees and just angled right, but it's a little bit different to build. But uh, yeah, you can see that like, for some reason, I always start with the boobs when it comes to building statues. like. I think even when I build like Hades or Poseidon, like I always start with the chest area and then build outward from that. Don't know why. I think it's just like an easy reference point because I like I know where they should be located and then it's just like guesswork how to make the rest look somewhat correct. But yeah, I built a version of this statue with arms, without arms, and then of course a colorized version. By this point, or, well, not by this point, but like, while I was building this, at a certain point, I just sat back and just thought to myself, I've been staring and building a butt crack for over 10 minutes. Alright, uh, if this video isn't going to get me demonetized, then nothing will. Well, we already know that, like, the next Aphrodite statue was like, let's just say the research was fun for that one. <laughs> I can talk about, like, how to build this statue, it's pretty difficult actually to build statues in Plan 2 again because you have like a limited amount of pieces and you have to work in like a certain size like making smaller statues is more difficult than larger statues of course because you have less pieces like the smaller you go the less pieces you have to your disposal but then it's also just like you always don't you never actually have like the correct size or size the correct shape <laughs> also, that sentence was so grammatically incorrect that it actually hurts. But anyway, so yeah, I didn't want to go full nudity in today's video. It's just one boob, two boobs, so there's that. But it was just the most famous Venus statue and I wanted to build it. It also has a structurally just a weird shape because she's like somewhat like one leg is in front and the other is a little bit pushed back. She's sort of angled in a funny way so like if you really just look at the structure of some statues you really are just like that just looks painful and uncomfortable but anyway so i tried to also have like the repaired version or not repaired the original version before the arms got broken off but yeah i also used the well the version without arms i throw that into water of the habitat but anyway I could talk about how to build a statue, but I don't want to. I want to talk about Paris making the worst decision when it comes to like choose or choosing which to give 
or which goddess to give the apple of discord to. That sentence was again so grammatically incorrect that it hurt and ripped a black hole in the space-time universe. Anyway, so yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, Parrish basically got given a apple which was inscribed with to the fairest and then Hera, Athena and Aphrodite started bickering about it. Actually, I think before Paris got the apple, Zeus was given the apple and he had to decide that, but for once Zeus actually had a brain cell and knew not to get into the middle of this argument between these three goddesses, but then Paris just made the worst decision because like Hera, queen of the gods, Athena, goddess of wisdom, cross and warfare and probably a lot of other things, Aphrodite, goddess of love, sexuality and beauty. Two of these goddesses can protect you from the other two. Aphrodite is not among those. Hera, given her title of like queen of the gods and like a lot of other things, she could probably protect you from the other two goddesses because whichever you give this apple to, the other two goddesses are going to be angry at you for not choosing them. Like that's just a thing. Like if you make one goddess or one god happy, there's a handful of others that are going to be angry at you, but especially in this case, like you knew that Athena and Hera were going to be angry. Paris basically just said screw you to the goddess of wisdom and the queen of the gods. Didn't think that that one was going to bite you in the ass because you choose to have a lovely wife which was abducted for like the story of Helen of Troy. It's like Helen is pretty much just a victim in this entire story. But then, um, Wise's decision, also a little bit, it's pretty easy to see the Wise's decision, but Wise's decision in my mind would be, give the apple to Athena, goddess of wisdom, warfare, like she is going to make you smart enough to be able to outwit the other two goddesses that you inevitably anger. Hera might also potentially help you, but Athena is a little bit more like safety assured, and also, if you just like, it never says that only those three goddesses is are the, like the goddesses you can choose from. Like, if you want to like go out of the box, give the apple to Persephone. Like, you know you're going to die, but Persephone as queen of the underworld is at least going to make your stay there happy, or like, you know, it's going to make your stay there entertaining, which you're basically going to be there forever. But uh, yeah, at least she will be able to make you happy. You will also get maybe some bonus points for choosing the goddess of the or the daughter of the meter. So you might get some bonus points with the meter. Although if you truly wanted to like be just safe and you know, well, is it the wisest choice? Well, it's in a way a good choice because just play on Zeus's pride and just give him the apple. It didn't say that you were only supposed to give it to a goddess, but like. If you give Zeus the apple of discord, and just the apple saying to the fairest, like, he is going to be arrogant and prideful enough to protect you, and probably none of the other goddesses or gods are going to be able to do anything about it because he's king of the gods, so just play on Zeus's pride and give him the apple, and you basically have a, like, a sure way to have a good life then, just like, I'm not saying that Zeus is a nice guy, Zeus is a dick, same with Poseidon, they are both dicks. But you can play them quite easily because they are arrogant, prideful fucks, so... Yeah, what was the point of today's video again? Uh, yeah, Zeus is a dick, Poseidon is a dick. If you are ever put in the position of choosing between Hera, Athena and Aphrodite, again, this video or this rant is completely nonsensical and it's not going to help you in any way, but probably choose Athena. Or if you're like, you know for sure like you're going to die, choose Persephone, maybe even Hades. Maybe Hades would even be better than Persephone, but choose the god or goddess associated with that because at least they can make your stay there enjoyable and otherwise play on the pride of shoes. Because he's probably going to give you a good life and none of the other gods slash goddesses can do anything about it because that man can throw a tantrum. But yeah, actually, now that I think about it just in general, probably just stay away from the Greek gods and such. Like, 
I always have this like idea like oh it would be so cool if like suddenly the Greek pantheon just appeared out of nowhere and it's just like yeah they're actually gods. Then I also think like that's going to be a disaster because you have basically 13, I think 13, 14, there's a lot more gods but like basically the big gods and goddesses like those are basically grown toddlers like they throw tantrums everywhere especially Aphrodite actually. Tina's a little bit more level headed. Slightly. Yeah, slightly. Hera? I think Hestia's the most level headed because she is basically just doing her thing. Again, the same goes with Hades. Like, if you want to stay with one of the gods or goddesses, choose Hestia, goddess of the heart and just home and family, who's pretty chill it seems, or Hades. Because he is just like, he doesn't care about all of the like drama and such. He's just in the underworld playing with Cerberus. And like, who doesn't want to play with a three-headed hellhound? I want to do that. That sentence was, again, pretty weird. Anyway, when it comes to the actual habitat, because I'm just uh, talking about how Poseidon and Zeus sucks, how Paris sucks for making the worst decision and just pronouncing basically my love for Hestian 80s. <laughs> Oh, this video is weird. But uh, yeah, the habitat for the little blue penguins, I wanted to make this kind of like the Garden of Hebe or basically the Oasis of Youth. There is the statue of Aphrodite or Venus that I'm placing later, which is called the Venus de Milo, which I never really thought much more beyond like, oh, armless Venus statue, but the more you know. But yeah, I wanted to make it sort of this like, oasis but then also not because there's a lot of dry area as well so basically Hebe is just like she gets like fertile ground surrounding her oasis but if you go any further beyond that then it's just like then you go into the desert again so it's very colorful actually surrounding the oasis and then the further on you go the more brown and beige it gets but yeah I have fun with this build like I wanted to First to only make like a sanctuary to Aphrodite, but now I'm just thinking let's make it a sanctuary to all of the goddesses. Like I want to build a statue for Demeter again. And it, well not Athena, I don't think Athena would be here. I think Demeter would be good, Persephone already has this one. There's a lot of like nymph statues that I can probably build here. But yeah, also forgot to make a blueprint of the colorized version of Aphrodite slash Venus. Yes. The nipples are on full display. I think that's... Yeah, that's necessary. <laughs> for some reason to mention. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for today's video. My brain is in pain because of all the weird tangents that I went on to. Also, I'm kind of hungry and... Yeah. So, brain hurty stomach wants food and I want to get demonetized. <laughs> That's basically the message of today's video. This video doesn't get me demonetized, I will say this a hundred times, then the next one hopefully will. Although I might also renovate the Hagia Sophia in the meantime because I don't know for sure how to tackle this statue of Aphrodite, like the full nude statue. I also don't know which animal I should pair it with. I'm thinking clouded leopard but also, maybe some other animals? Maybe. We will see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, I'm going to be partying it up if I get demonetized, which is weird because no YouTuber wants to get demonetized, but I for some reason want to. And then, of course, if you liked the video, there's a like and subscribe button if you want to see more. There's a notification button, but before that button starts actually sending notifications, I will be demonetized. So, have a wonderful day everyone, bye bye!